Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to take a backup of all the partition on your OnePlus phone using the MSM tool Readback Mode. So as you might be aware, the MSM tool is used to flash the OPS firmware and hence unbreak your OnePlus phone using the EDL mode. So it is applicable across all the OnePlus phone that comes with a Qualcomm chipset and have an emergency download mode. But apart from the ability to flash the OPS firmware, MSM tool also beholds a hidden read back mode using this mode you could take a backup of all the partition which are there in the ops firmware and flash it accordingly so let me show you what i mean so once you enable the hidden read back mode then it will bring up all the partition files that you could take up whose backup you could take accordingly and then flash it onto your phone all you need is just a password which i will tell you as well and how to use this password and extract the firmware partition file so do keep in mind that all these partition files are extracted inside the C drive. Yes, it does not gives you any option to choose the directory or it does not even make a folder. Rather, it simply dumps all the backup partition files in the C drive. So if that's well and good, then let's get started with this process. So first and foremost, you will have to boot your phone to EDL mode. If it's break, then it might already be in EDL mode. However, if it's currently working, then you could use the ADV command to get this job done. For that, you have to enable USB debugging on your phone. And once you have enabled USB debugging, download and install the Android SDK platform tools. So let me show you the platform tools folder. The link is given in the description. So download it onto your PC and then extract it anywhere on your PC. And once you have extracted, it should look something like this. So go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window. Now type in ADV, reboot, EDL, and your phone will boot to the EDL mode. Apart from that, you could also boot your phone to the fast boot mode via ADV reboot bootloader. And once you it's in the fast boot mode, you could use either of the three fast boot commands to boot your phone to the EDL mode, which are the fast boot reboot EDL, fast boot reboot dash EDL, and fast boot OEM EDL. You could also boot your phone to the EDL mode via these three fast boot commands. However, if your phone is currently bricked, then your only course of action is to boot your phone to EDL mode via hardware key combination. And when it comes to hardware key combination, here's what you need to do. First and foremost, plug in one end of the USB cable to your PC, but leave the other end blank. Then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. And while holding both this key, connect the other end of the USB cable to your phone. Then you should hear a warning sound on your PC within two seconds. Once you hear the, that sound, you could then leave the volume up and volume down keys and your phone will be booted to the EDL mode. So just to re recall, power off your phone by pressing the power key for around 15 seconds. Then connect one end of the cable to your PC, but keep the other end blank. Then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys while holding both this key. Connect your phone to the USB cable and then you will hear a connection prompt. Once you hear that prompt, you could then let go of both the keys. Then let's now verify the ideal connection. So use the Windows X shortcut key to bring up the menu, then select device manager. And from there, expand the port section and we should now check out the results. So let's expand the port section. As you could see, my device is showing as Qualcomm access QSB loader. If it's showing the same in your case as well, then it means the drivers are installed. However, if it's showing as QHS USB bulk, something like this, then you will first have to install the Qualcomm drivers. So I made a guide on that. So open this guide and then install the drivers accordingly. The link is given in the description as well as in this guide. So install these drivers and then restart your PC and make sure it's showing as Qualcomm access QSB loader. Once that is done, you will now have to disable the driver signature verification on your Windows PC. If you don't do so, then Windows will not be able to identify the device in ADL mode. As you could see in my case as well, I'm getting a yellow warning sign. So this means that the driver signature is not enabled on my PC. And so first and foremost, I'll have to disable the driver signature verification. For that, you have to press and hold the shift key. And while holding the shift key, select the restart option. Your PC will then boot to the Windows recovery environment. From the recovery environment, select troubleshoot. Advanced option, startup settings, and then click on restart. After that, hit the 7 or F7 key, and Windows will disable the driver signature enforcement and boot to the OS. So, just to recall, you will first and foremost have to bring up the power menu using the start icon and press and hold the shift key. While holding the shift key, you need to click on restart button. Then, your PC will boot to the Windows recovery environment. Let me show you once. This is the recovery environment. From there, you need to select troubleshoot. From the troubleshoot option, select advanced option then select startup settings and then click on the restart button that you could see at the bottom right so click on restart and then your pc will go to the startup settings page so from the startup settings page you just need to press the 7 or f7 key and this will disable driver signature enforcement and your pc will then go to the os 
Once that is done, you should no longer see the yellow warning sign over here. So let me now do this task and then I'll be back. So guys, we have just booted our phone to the OS or rather our PC to the OS and now let's now verify if the driver signature and postman have been disabled or not. So use the Windows X shortcut keys, then go to the device manager and from there you have to expand the port section. So let's do that, expand the port section and make sure as you could see our phone is now listed as Qualcomm HS USB QT loader with no yellow warning sign. So this signifies that the window is able to identify the phone in EDL mode and we are now good to go ahead. So let's minimize this window and next up you will have to now download the MSM download tool for your device. So go to the guide given in the description and grab hold of the MSM tool for your device from here. You could download the desired firmware version, the Android version as well as the region of your choice. For example, the global Indian or EU version. So download the MSM tool from this guide and then extract it onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in D drive as you could see and these are the files of MSM tool. Once that is done, you will now have to unplug your phone from the PC. Yes, we will now be removing our phone from the PC. Then we will enable the readback mode on the MSM tool and at the end we will once again connect our phone to the PC in EDL mode. So leave your phone in EDL mode, just simply unplug it from the USB cable. So as soon as I will unplug it from my USB cable, you could see my phone is now gone from the port section under device manager. So we have now removed our phone and let's leave it in that state. Do not touch the phone, leave it in the EDL mode, just remove it from your PC. Once that is done, you now have to launch the MSM tool. So guys, let's now launch the MSM tool. So for that, double click on the MSM download tool exe file. And as you could see, this is the OPS firmware from which we'll be extracting the partition file. This OPS firmware comes inbuilt with the MSM tool and you don't need to download it separately. All this comes under a single package which you have downloaded from my link guide. So you don't have to download the separate package, but just extract the MSM tool and you will get all these files. So once the tool gets loaded, simply select others and then click on next. And after that, it will now load the tool. Now you have to test the FN plus F8 shortcut keys. As soon as you, as you select this key, you should see the Firehose readback mode. So from here, let's choose the partition of our choice from which you want to take a backup. If you want to take a backup of all the partition, just use the Ctrl+A shortcut key and all the partition will be selected. As for the sake of out of this, uh, the biggest partition size will be of super.img. So let's skip that partition and uh, let's carry out the rest of the backup. I'm doing this just for the sake of reference. You could choose as many partitions as you want. You could choose the entire partition as well. And as of now, I'm just using this partition. And as I've told you before, all this partition backup will be dumped in C drive, but not inside any folder. Rather, it will just be dumped in the C drive itself. So once you've chosen the partition, Type in the password OnePlus and click OK. You should now see readback button. So click on it and the MSM tool is now in the readback mode. You will now have to connect your phone to the PC. So press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. And while holding both these keys, connect your phone to the PC via USB cable. Our phone should now be detected in EDL mode and the backup should now start. So let's check out the result. So as you could see, the partition backup has now started and it will take a backup of all the partition file. In some cases, you might get a Sahara communication field error. This is one of the most common issues with MSM tool and you might get a Sahara communication field. So if you are getting that issue, then you will have to, if possible, if your phone is currently working well and good, then boot your phone to the OS. And once it gets booted to the OS, power off your phone, then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. And while holding both this key, connect your phone to the PC by USB cable. So your phone will once again boot to the EDL mode and the flashing should start automatically. So just to reconfirm, if you get a Sahara communication field error, reboot your phone to the OS. Once it get booted to the OS, unplug your phone from the PC, then power off your phone. Now press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. And while holding both this key, again connect your phone to the PC. It will then boot to EDL mode and the backup should start automatically as you could see in my case. However, if your phone is currently booted to the EDL mode and it's bricked, then that will not be an issue. You just need to unplug your phone from the PC and replug it once again. For that, just press and hold the volume up and volume down keys and replug your phone to the PC and the process should start. Apart from that, make sure you are using the official USB cable that came with your phone because unofficial cable does not support these advanced modes such as fast mode recovery or bootloader mode or the EDL mode. 
So make sure you're using the official USB cable. Likewise, please use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the 3.0 port. So carry out these USB tweaks and it should fix the SATA communication field error and the backup should now start. And when it's come to the backup, you have to launch the MSM tool, press and hold the FN F8 keys and you should get the Firehose readback mode. From there, choose the number of partition that you want and type in OnePlus as the password and click OK. This will bring up the readback button. So just click on the readback button and the tool will now be loaded in the readback mode. Once that happens, you have to connect your phone to the PC by USB cable. And as soon as you do so, it will now start taking a backup of all the partition and the process will take up some time depending upon all the partition that you have chosen. For example, in my case, during the initial setup, I had selected all the partition, which included the super.img as well. So the entire process in my tech took around 584 seconds. And these were all the files directly dumped in the C drive as you could see. So the process should take maximum around 600 seconds. In my case, currently I haven't selected the super IMG. So the process should be completed a little bit faster and it would not take that much time. So it's currently taking a backup. So let's wait while that is happening. And apart from that, if you have any other issues, you could let me know in the comment section and you could also check out this guide. So this is the SARA communication fix issues out of which we have discussed all the fixes. So you could once again read these fixes and make sure to try out all these tweets. So you should start MSM tool as an admin, use the USB 2.0 port, use the optional USB cable and use an Intel based PC and not the AMD because we have seen a few issues with the AMD based PC. So try and using an Intel based chipset and if possible, please use the Windows 10 PC. Anyways, let's now check out the result as I could see the process is now complete and we are getting the readback complete message and the time took 201 seconds. Once that is done, you could now access the C drive and check out the result. So let me first close this file explorer and restart it so that it gets refreshed. So let's now open file explorer and from within that, let's now go to C drive. So let's now check out the backup files. So as you could see, these are the backup file of the MSM tool. And as I have told you before, it just simply dumps in, in the C drive with no folder or directory just inside the C drive. Now you will have to arrange it yourself and get the job done. And these are all the partition file. Do keep in mind that if you want to flash the file, then you will have to unlock the booter as well. You cannot simply do so via the MSM tool because MSM tool could only flash the entire OPS package. It, is, it will not be able to flash individual firmware file. To flash the individual firmware flash, you have to use the password commands. And for that, you have to unlock the bootloader. For example, if you want to flash recovery and your phone has a recovery partition, then you could use the fastboot flash recovery recovery.img and make sure to place the recovery file in the platform tools folder. So for flashing this file, you will have to use the fastboot method and unlock the bootloader. It's just for the sake of backing up the partition that we don't need to unlock the bootloader. But any other task apart from that requires an unlock bootloader. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.